What is going on YouTube? So today I was uh, a little shocked to find out that uh, PewDiePie's video Coco uh, was taken down by YouTube. Ooh, wow. I'm gonna take these off because I feel like it's gonna give off a bad glare and people are gonna be like, eh, you don't wanna see them. So Coco was taken down. So here's how I first knew. I actually just found this out now, um, but I did a reaction video over on um, this channel and I got an email from YouTube and they said my video was taken down and i was like what How? and i was i was very frustrated obviously because the video is doing pretty well i was like what did i do and then i looked more into it i was like wait maybe it wasn't me maybe it was the actual content that i was reacting to so I was like let me do an experiment let me let me look up coco so i looked up coco uh and i went over the i, I didn't see it i was like hmm that's weird so i go over to pewd's channel and i don't see it there so i'm like okay i see what's going on so they took it down, and let me tell you one of the reasons why. And and I'm gonna be honest, this this could be different, but I would assume this is the reason why they took it down because they that that same flag was on my channel because I reacted to it. Uh, in the email that they sent me, which I cannot show to you guys, uh, but it said, let me look at it here. And they said, and we think it violates our harassment, threats, and cyberbullying policy. I didn't get a strike on that at all. Um, but they did remove the video, which was very disappointing. And I assume that is what happened to Pewds as well, uh, very unfortunately. And I can't sit here and say that, that I, don't, I don't completely see what they could have saw from that. Um, definitely, I mean, it was a diss track. No, diss tracks aren't nice, you know, at the end of the day. Um, but they do exist on YouTube, which is interesting as to why you're picking and choosing, you know, which ones tend to, to stay. Um, especially when it's, you know, the diss is towards a, a corporation that technically is helping you. And I, I just feel like sometimes, it, you know, there's a, a bigger meaning to some of this stuff, man. But yeah, I mean, that's all. Let me see if I can read the email and see if there's anything else that I can. I don't think there, there's anything else. They just gave me a, de a, of a, a description of the policy that they're they're saying that it violates and I'll, I'll read that off to you guys but other than that they haven't gave me any more um info on that so it says what our policy says youtubers share their opinions on a wide range of different topics however there's a line between passionate debate and malicious harassment so i guess they're they're claiming it's malicious content containing targeted harassment including but not limited to stalking threats bullying and intimidation is not allowed on youtube interesting Basically, it's, you know, it just is a bunch of blah, blah, blah at the end of that. But yeah, the, the main thing that I got out of that was they're saying that it was either one of these. It was one of these. Stalking, threats, bullying, intimidation. One of those. And ob yeah, obviously all forms of harassment. Um, so they think that's that's what, what, what was the, uh, the violation there. And I, I'm going to be honest, man. I definitely feel for uh, Felix because I... I can already tell they spent a while on that video i mean it was very well made um and definitely controversial to say the least and i definitely feel for it man because i know that that took a while i mean it took me like six hours to do that vid the reaction video don't ask me why the editing and a bunch of technical difficulties came up um so you know obviously i was a little disappointed to see that i had some work lost but not even not even close to how much work that felix and his whole team put together on that project so uh, my apologies to his team and uh, i definitely feel for him hopefully moving forward they can make some sort of a censored version i don't i don't know a lot of people that you know make masterpieces like that to be honest they don't like to censor their content it's like i'm gonna put my shit out and here it's gonna be this or not um i just would like to see them make some money off of it even though felix probably doesn't give a fuck about dollars or any or any type of uh income as far as that like fuck that at the end of the day i feel like he just wants the the community to to get his uh his vision and to see the hard work that they they put on that so i, I definitely i definitely hope they can come to some sort of agreement or at the end of the day they can find a an edited version that can, could work because you never know it could be something very simple that just could could be a little edit that could help it man but that's all i've got for you today man so we're gonna get you out of here it's kind of late so i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna uh, get up out of here so without further ado see you guys later